You guys hear that? My dog and my dad are snoring on the couch. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to go check them out. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I figured while I'm at it, I might as well make him famous on YouTube, right? Uh, anyways, what's going on guys? Uh, Spencer Rifkin here. We're here in the hobby room and today's video, um, actually, actually I was in the process of uh, working on my Tensco car for uh, an event coming up and I'm doing my shocks. So I figured, you know what? I can do a video, get it done, show you guys how I bleed and prep my shocks and um, help you guys out on the track with gaining some traction, jumping, handling, consistency, um, there's multiple ways that you can do um, this, but this is just the way that I do it. I want to show you guys um, the way that um, I've been doing it. It's worked out pretty well for me, um, and uh, let's get right into it. All right, just showing you some of my tools that I have out front here. I have my shock plier tool. This is a ProTech shock tool. It's a multi-purpose um, gadget that um, you can get from A-Main Hobbies or even from your local hobby shop. It actually holds a shock body. Um, really nicely at the bottom so it doesn't scratch and it even has this little um, stub right here where you can pull the shock ball from your shock um, shock in if needed. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of an example of a shock that's built not not correctly at all whatsoever. Um, right here, this is an example of a shock that has too much pressure in it where you actually can't even push it in all the way. And this is just... Um, the wrongdoing of bleeding it wrong and not bleeding it fully all the way with the bleeder screw out. Um, even if you pump it up, it still has plenty of pressure and this actually is a cause of um, just having too much oil in the shock. And this, what this will do on the racetrack is that, that it will actually um, jump and land um, very poorly and will have less grip um, all around on the car. It's just an unsettled shock. Um, this is something that you don't want. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it on how I bleed my shock properly. So let's get the oil right here. Put it in the shock. Now I fill it up just to the top where it's just level. I pump it up and down a few times. And I'm not using the shock pump here because um, an emulsion style shock um, actually works with air so there's no point of taking the air completely out because no matter what you'll get pressure in or sorry not pressure you'll get air bubbles in there regardless so I'll let that sit for a couple of seconds I have the screw out here to get ready and when always bleeding my shock I always use a shock bottom uh, put it on the bottom of the shock so when it compresses all the way up it actually has a stopper um, which is when you put your spring spring on you always have a shock cup so might as well uh, bleed it with that shock cup so now that I got that going I'm gonna put the cap on screw it in all the way get my shock pliers hold that so I can make sure it's completely tight and what I'll do here is I will bleed it all the way to the very bottom till it stops get my microfiber and wipe the excess oil, put the screw in, and then I'll pump it up. And sometimes you'll see it will rebound just a little bit when you first do that. But I'll pump it up a little bit more, and then I'll push the, the shock all the way out to full extension. I'll hold it with my, with my hand fully out. I'll get the screw, unscrew this, and then I'll bleed it one more time. You don't want to go super fast. You want to go a slow, steady speed when bleeding it. And you'll see some bubbles come out. Put the screw back in. Tighten it slowly. And then pump. And then, as you can see, no rebound. A completely dead shock. So there you have it. 
Alrighty, well that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Hopefully I showed you what not to do on um, blitting your shocks and um, having a bunch of rebound is not what you want uh, for your shocks. Um, if you want your, your car to land poorly and have less grip, uh, this is what you don't want is a lot of rebound. And um, But having a dead built shock like I showed you on how to bleed it twice um, is, is definitely the most important thing to your car setup with creating grip uh, being predictable off the jumps and landings, and um, most importantly, you'll have a better time out there on the track. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys really like the video, drop a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. And um, until then, we'll see you on the next one.